a world on water. Dubai Waterfront provides an investment opportunity like no other. This landmark destination is home to diverse zones, comprising the first phase of the master plan, the world's largest waterfront development in the world's fastest growing city. An opportunity like no other. Imagine a grand city on the sea whose harbor welcomes the world. Dubai Waterfront, next generation destination. The development is owned by Trakis and has completed its first phase of development. The figure shows the sun path and the wind direction on the site. For the climate study, the figure shows the temperature range of UAE the warmest being August and coldest being Jan. The predominant wind direction is from northwest in UAE. The wind speed peaks in the month of Jan with an annual mean speed of 3.6 meters per second. Water is pretty sticky stuff. It likes to hold on to itself. It sticks together especially well right at the surface. If you're small, it can actually hold you up, as long as you don't break through that surface tension. It seems like the water strider's legs would just sink right in, but they don't. They make dimples on the surface. That's because their legs are covered in tiny hairs called microceti that repel water. The strider's entire body is covered in them. Those hairs trap a layer of air that keeps the water from sticking to its body. The water strider simply can't get wet. That's how they can sit on top of the water without breaking through. Plus, they're pretty light, and they spread out their weight with their front and back legs. The following research was done by a group of scientists in order to study the pressure applied by water strider's leg by measuring the shadow casted by them. Thus, this concept was taken and was further developed. The architecture details are as follows. Similar to the water strider, the resort spread out their weight to the front and back styrofoam docks, highlighted in red. The pathway docks are held by various columns placed at regular intervals. The mooring system developed by Dwell Docker attached to the pathway docks enabled the resort suite to be stable. The sustainable assessment method used in this project is al safad Green Building Evaluation System according to which the building fabric in terms of external wall should be maximum of 0.42 U-value and glass which covers more than 60% of the external wall area should be 1.9 to be a contender for gold and platinum rating. For the IES analysis, the following set points were used. Set point for heating and cooling is 19 and 23 respectively. The daylight simulation was done on three platforms, luminance, illuminant contours, daylight factor. The diagram shows the eye and focus position to do the simulation for daylighting. The simulation was done on August 15th for 8 a.m., 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. As per the site layout, the sorts are arranged in the following manner and it was observed that resort 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4 were performing in terms of energy in a similar way. After categorizing the following other results, it was observed that resort 1 gave a poor performance in terms of energy and lighting which eventually became the base case. Skin 1 comprises of triple glazing which has a U value of 1.43. The 
energy performance results are as follows. The lighting performance was analyzed and they had no glare issues. Skin 2 comprised of double skin facade where the U value is 1.22. Energy performance is as follows. The lighting performance was analyzed and it had no glare issues. Skin 3 gave the U value of 0 0.4069. The energy performance is as follows. The lighting performance is as follows and it had no glare issues. To conclude, in terms of solar gain air temperature, Skin 2 performed the best. In terms of external conduction gain, Cooling plant sensible load and heating plant sensible load, Skin 2 gave the best better results than the others. In terms of total energy consumed, Skin 2 gave better results than the others. Two vertical axis wind turbine which has power rating of 6 kW and 10 PV panels were added to the Skin 2. The net power generated was 3.36 kW contribution percentage of 51 against the base case.